Hello everyone and welcome back to EV.com. So before we get started, don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe for more great EV content. So today we're going to be taking a look at this Xpong X9, which is being launched to global markets today. But most importantly, we're going to be taking a look at the tech underneath this car, and more specifically, the self-driving technology to see how it competes with Tesla's FSD. So Tesla's FSD hasn't actually received approval yet here in the China market. But for those of you watching, let me know how you think it compares to FSD. Make sure you leave your comments below. Let's get into it. Okay, let's get on the road here and let's get started with testing out this XNGP. So as soon as I get started, I've already got a location in my map here. I'm gonna put it into NGP. So hopefully, it knows where we're going and hopefully it's gonna take us all the way there. I'm only gonna intervene if I think I'm gonna crash or if I think there's gonna be an issue. Otherwise, I'm gonna let it do as much as possible. I'll just have my hand lightly on the steering wheel. I am not doing anything at all. So this, X9 actually has 29 sensors in total. So it has two LiDAR units at the front. So it's not vision only like some of Xpeng's uh, newer models like the P7 Plus, for example, which uses a vision only system. This has two LiDAR units. So we have them at the front to help guide us along. So we're gonna follow this bend around. It seems to be doing an okay job of that. It's just, Okay, it's, it was quite aggressively went across the lanes there. I assume it knew there wasn't any cars there because that is not how I would drive exactly, but it did get across the lane safely. That was a very, very difficult decision because we had to do a right turn and then immediately merge over about four lanes. I'm gonna assume that it knew that those lanes were empty when it merged like that because that was quite an aggressive move. So powering the 29 sensors, including those two uh, LiDAR units, are twin Orin X chips with up to uh, 508 TOPs of computing power. So we should have a good amount of intelligence on this vehicle to react to all different kinds of situations. Here is a little bit more easy going. Here is kind of like a uh, kind of highway kind of dual carriageway, three lane uh, intercity um, driving. So it's not the most challenging. That highway driving was a little bit easy. So we're gonna try something a little bit different, which is some smaller roads. So first we're coming off the highway onto a smaller, it looks like a three lane road here. It's quite heavy traffic. Let's see how it merges onto here with all these cars around. So we're still on the uh, slip lane coming down the side here. It's using as much of the slip lane as it can, which I quite like. No need to rush into the traffic. So I'm going to try and do this without involving myself at all. We're making a left lane merge right now because we come to the edge of the slip lane. There is a car to the left and i've got a big truck behind me so i probably want to get out of his way although he probably needs to get into the off the hard shoulder okay we are merging we are not merging we are merging okay we've merged great so it did that pretty well not too much stopping there pretty smooth and we're going to be staying in the right lane for another 500 meters and then we'll actually be coming off this road and I set up a series of waypoints around the neighborhood so I can give it so I can kind of test it in different scenarios so firstly we're going to be jumping off this highway so we're in the slip lane now and it's picking up all the traffic we can see on here it's going to be merging right okay it's telling me it's going to the right we've gone over to the right and it's the central bridge so yep it's following the navigation perfectly we're coming up here slowing down a bit i think the speed limit on this ramp is 60 so it just maybe 50 slowing down a fair bit 
So we've actually got a roundabout up here. So let's see how it deals with this roundabout. This will be interesting. I am just going to have my hand here. I'm not going to be involved at all. Okay, so asking me to just have a look. And fortunately, it's the first exit. So it's pretty simple. No issue there. Didn't even stop, didn't even slow down. Just saw that it was clear and continued moving. Okay, down here is traffic light. So let's see how it deals with this. So we have to remember that this is the X9. It does have rear wheel steering up to five degrees. So hopefully it can get around this U-turn without having to do any reversing or whatever. They can just do it in one go. So just give me a reminder. It's stopping me here, but it doesn't actually need to stop me here. Yeah, it doesn't need to stop me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna push it forward a bit because it doesn't actually need to stop me. It stopped me there because actually that was where the line was, but I don't think it was where it, where the U-turn uh, line was. And we got a we got a guy who's trying to cut in up here, so let's see how the car deals with him. Unfortunately, I'll probably let him in. Well, I wouldn't do that, but this will. So we're going now. We're going to go around this U-turn. This guy is going to cut in here, being a naughty boy. Better hurry up if he's going to cut in. So. This is actually a very tricky U-turn because there's big barriers. We've actually gone a bit wide so we can have a better turning circle. So we've gone uh, not quite full lock. Okay, it got round, it got round. Okay, I was, I, was, I was never worried. And we've gone over to the right, so we're actually going to be coming off the road here. So some of these streets are very tricky, to be honest. All right, now we're, we're in the side, the side road. And yep, I haven't been involved at all. I've, I've had my faith in the system and the system has been working. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna do a right turn onto a small street. There are some cars uh, parked in the, in the right turn lane. It's gonna overtake these. So it's just told me it's doing that. And it's telling me it's gonna go into the right lane, which it is, good. And we're making a turn around here there's a car over our side great excellent work not too much slowing down here so we're going to do a right turn up at this traffic light here there is no green it's just a flashing amber i think it can recognize this it's not going to stop it's just going to directly turn and here we go there's a lady there please see her yep she's been spotted so up here we've got a little bike we're going to go around the bike Yep, fortunately she was over to the side, so that wasn't an issue. A car on the right, and we've got cars on the left, so it probably could squeeze through this. I'd recommend it would slow down, perhaps wait, give way to these cars as it is doing, and then come around slowly. All right, so let, let another car come. We stopped here. It's doing what? It knows what it needs to do. It just needs to do it. Okay, here we go. I think it was um, cautious there in case there were more oncoming cars coming at speed. So I wanted to make sure that the road ahead was was completely free. So there we go. That was Xpong's XNGP driver assistance. What do you think? And most importantly, do you think it can compete with the likes of Tesla's FSD. Make sure you leave your comments below. Be sure to give us a like and a subscribe. I'll see you next time.